Hi, so yes, I'm just testing out the microphone um, solution that I've come up with, which I am pretty pleased with. I've been thinking about all expensive solutions of using a wireless uh, transmitter and receiver to send audio um, into my camera or my phone um, so that I can use a Thai mic. I, I personally really like Thai mics rather than the external mics because of the position they're always in the right place but then you've got the problem of leads and getting them them getting in the way if they're plugged directly into your camera um, so what I've come up with is a solution where you plug the microphone into your camera and then you attach the tie clip microphone actually onto your selfie stick or your monopod and um, I'm just testing the audio now to see how that works out but see what you think, it's probably no further away than it would be if it was uh, on my lapel, perhaps, perhaps an extra couple of inches. Um, but yeah, I'm just really going to see how this works, audio-wise, both outdoors and indoors. And so I'm just wandering around outside now, doing a bit of vlogging and seeing how the audio sounds um, in an outdoor environment. Not very windy today. Um, I haven't got a dead cat for my time mic, but I have got a foam cover on it at the moment. So, uh, but it's pretty still, so it's not really a good test. Um, but I am going to get a dead cat. But I'm using a really nice Rode time mic um, that works well with my Samsung S7, and so um, I can get pretty good quality audio when it's on my lapel. So I'm just seeing if it's going to work as well when I've got it attached to my selfie stick so i'll show you how that works out um, and we'll we'll have a listen to the audio and see what we think so this is the setup i have with my samsung s7 and the rode smart lav plus got the time mic plugged into my phone it's a good quality mic well i could really recommend it for vlogging purposes and general audio recording and um then I've got it just clipped to a tie wrap, um, which is in turn connected to another tie wrap around the handle. And as you can see, it provides a bit of anti-shock um, and with no real noise being passed through from the handle at all. And uh, the reason I've wrapped it around the selfie stick is that you can extend the handle quite easily to different lengths and uh, it will take up the slack quite easily and the cable doesn't really get in the way um, so it's quite a flexible solution it might not look very pretty um, but it works for me so that's my smartphone solution um, next I'm going to show you how I've got it set up with my monopod and my Canon EOS M3 so same idea with my Sony EOS M3 put the tie mic in and uh, okay this is a little bit more Heath Robinson but works for me it's just um, some stiff wire and a tie clip the reason I'm using a tie clip is the the mic clips that come with this mic are really poor um, but you can still use a mic clip in your situation um, and clip it to the wire and again you've got that little bit of um, flexibility to take any of the shock and it's attached to the, sh the foam handle anyway so there should be no noise transmission and um, it's a nice in this case Sony mic stereo mic um, good quality and uh, not too much background noise um, obviously you'd use a dead cat or whatever in outdoor or windy situations and obviously the advantage with this particular monopod which is the Koenig KN tripod monopod actually, I don't know why they call it a KN tripod, um, is um, the foam handle show you, slides up and down the handle with a bit of resistance but um, so you can have the foam handle further up the handle and away from the camera so you can hold it comfortably in a vlogging situation with, uh, with no problems and uh, okay it's not as close as it might be on your lapel um, but close enough you know within a foot or so it's, 
is, is pretty good. And your voice actually projects forward, not downwards. So um, what you're losing in distance, you're gaining in dBs because um, it's more on axis with your voice. So um, let me know what you think. Um, I admit that a, a tidy transmitter and receiver um, is a nice solution, but you can get interference obviously over a wireless system, even on the UHF ones. Um, I've experienced that before. Um, this gives you um, the high quality um, at a low budget. So that's it. I hope you found that useful. If you have, give me some feedback, click the like button, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Catch you next time.